Hi, I'm Rebecca Hale, and I'm a computational linguist at Megaputer Intelligence. Natural language processing, or NLP, is a way for computers to interact with natural human language. The idea is that we should be able to interact with computers on our terms, the way that we naturally communicate with each other, instead of learning computer programming every time we want them to do something. Um, this not only allows us to communicate with our computers, but it also allows computers to read and understand and analyze the way that we communicate with each other. No, NLP includes everything involved in computers interacting with human language. This can be anything from uh, giving your computer a voice command to uh, having a sentence crafted that tells you what the weather is going to be like tomorrow to uh, suggesting something that you might have meant when your web search looks a little bit off. Computers have no problem understanding numbers and categories like one through five, how satisfied are you with your hotel room? But when it comes to natural language, there's so much that is difficult about it. There's no one right mathematical answer. With numbers, you can just tell it what you want. Say, I want the average satisfaction score over all of these, and it'll give you the answer right away. But with human language, it's so complex and nuanced, and sometimes messy and ambiguous, that there are a lot of problems to solve in order to understand what the human means. There are problems to solve, like part of speech tagging, we need to know whether something is a noun or a verb before we can make any sense of it. Like the word book can be a noun or a verb. It can be a book like you read or something that you do with hotel reservations. We need to also understand the structure of language and that's where parsing comes in. Uh, sentences have structure to them that we don't even think about when we're talking, but when you hear the sentence, I saw the man with the telescope, do you know whether you saw the man and he was holding the telescope or you were using a telescope to see him? That kind of structure where you need to know what phrase goes with what word is what we're talking about with parsing. So in order to understand what the subject is, what the object is, what the peripheral information is, we need to tell a computer what that structure of the sentence is with parsing. Now, all of these things are very complex problems individually to solve, but they don't mean anything by themselves. They feed into larger problems like named entity recognition. So who are the people, the companies, uh, the street addresses in the text that we're looking at. Um, we can do relationship extraction. So who is related to each other, what companies are related to each other, what phone number goes with which person, and so on. Uh, we can solve problems like extracting the information we need out of text by using all of those small, nuanced, natural language processing tasks uh, involved in understanding the smaller things about language, like structure and meaning and the semantics that we can add to the information that we have in that language. NLP has a lot of complex problems to solve, even for just one language, and that multiplies when you get into other languages. Um, we need to solve things, all of the same things that I mentioned before, but we also need to solve things like word segmentation, for example. In Chinese, one word can be three characters, and then the next word will start immediately. So if you're not a native speaker, you don't automatically know even what the words are specifically that you're looking at. We have to solve problems like morphological segmentation, which is splitting up the words into all of those pieces that give you information. Like we have eats and eating, uh, that's morphology, but it's a lot more complicated in other languages. And so you need to break off those pieces like the ing and know what sorts of information you're getting with the word. It, now what we used to do in NLP was to translate all of the languages into one language, and usually that was English, and then do our analysis on that one language. But if you've ever tried to 
translate a language with a machine instead of just talking to someone who knows the language, you know that you don't always get the best results. Um, and sometimes it even changes the meaning entirely from what was intended. So what we do now is try to analyze every language the way it was originally written. Um, and I work with Polyanalyst and we have built all of these uh, NLP engines. We've got part of speech tagging, parsing. It's very important to have all of these individually for the language that you're analyzing because English sentences are structured differently from Turkish sentences. So uh, you have to have all of those NLP solutions for every single language to be able to solve those problems quickly and most importantly, accurately. NLP benefits basically everyone that interacts with technology nowadays. Um, so on a personal level, it's filtering your spam emails, it's improving your internet searches, it is allowing you to speak to your computer, it tells you when you're about to send an email without an attachment, it helps you translate a language that you don't understand. But even beyond just a personal level, it's helping companies with lots of text data like customer responses or vendor notes that contain valuable information, but it's locked inside human language. And so previously, you needed a person to read through all of those thousands, even millions of records. And now we can use natural language processing to get the information out of it that we need much faster and more efficiently with the power of computation rather than at the speed of human reading, which is not sufficient for millions of records. The most immediate advancements I think are gonna be made are in the smart home device arena. We've got a lot of people using them now, and the more people use them, the more data the companies have to make it better and to better understand and process what you're asking for, which in turn means more people are gonna be using them and they're just gonna get better and better. Um, we're also living in a time where we've realized that we can be a lot more effective and efficient if we're doing things in a modular way. So we're gonna see a lot more solution specific apps, softwares, um, skills on your home devices that do one thing really, really well. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about natural language processing, please check out our website.